Hello dear friends, good afternoon, such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon, page A Dream of Red Mansions, page 127. When Feng Guan made her way to the kitchen, she spotted an old servant carrying some hot cakes. Can I have one of these? Feng Guan joked, but Xiao Chan the maid in service was not amused. These were made for others, she said, moving away from Feng Guan. However, the chef, Mrs. Liu, kindly sent, sent a cake to Feng Guan. Instead of eating it, though, Feng Guan tore it into small pieces, which she threw to the sparrow. Xiao Chan. Xiao Chan watched in silence, her face flushed with rage. Feng Guan then took some of Bao Yu's rose water to give it to Wu Er. Wu er to give to Wu Er, the daughter of Mrs. Liu. At that time, Wu Er's uncle was serving at the gate and happened to receive a packet of Pachma Cocos, Pach Pashima cocos as a gift from an official from Guangdong who stopped by who stopped by that day. He sent some to Wu Er. However, on the other day, Madame Wang found she could not find her own rose water when a packet of Pachima. Pachima cocos was found beside an empty rose water bottle. Wu Er was blamed. Bao Yu heard the news from Ping Er and decided that he would say it, say it was his fault, so that Wu Er would not be let off the hook. I will tell everyone that I stole, stole it from my mother and then placed it in the kitchen to fool the girls. That was everything. That way everything will turn out fine. This flower is so beautiful. Page 128. It was not long before it was time for many birthdays to be celebrated. Among them, Bao Yu's, Bao Qin's, Bao Qin's, Qin, Bao Qin's, Xiu Yan's, Xue Yan's. No, Xiu, 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 Xiu Yan's, Xiu Yan's and Ping Er's. Madame, Mrs. Liu was ordered to prepare a large feast, and many guests filled the hall, mingling among the freshly picked flowers. Everyone was in a festive mood, playing a number of drinking games and making bets. So a huge banquet to celebrate birthday. Oh, look at it. As the guests were tucking into some of the uh, tucking into some of the snacks, a servant came in with a huge grin on her face. Miss Xiang Yun has has had too much drink. Xiang Yun said the servant. She must have become so drowsy with drink that she lay down on the stone bench outside and fell straight to sleep. 
many of the guests went outside and saw that Xiang Yun was indeed asleep. Peony Petal had been blown over her, and now her sleeping form was almost completely buried in the bright red petal. Xiang Yun. Xiang Yun. Page 129. When they had eaten, the guests moved in different directions. Some stayed and chatted in the hall, while others went to spy on the fish in the pond or walk among the trees. Bao Chai and Xue Yan watched Bao Qin playing a game of Droughts with Tan Chun, while Bao Yu and Dai Yu sat beneath a tall tree and laughed as they chatted. Bao Yu and Dai Yu chatting, they see a game. Hmm. When Xi Ren came to take Bao Yu back, Bao Yu asked her if she had seen Feng Guan who seemed to be missing from the party. Xi Ren thought she had been playing a game with some of other servants, but was at loss to explain where she could be, where she could be now. Bao Yu therefore returned to his room, where he found Feng Guan sulking on her bed. She was annoyed that everyone, everyone else had been drinking and enjoying themselves, but they had not paid her any attention. She had become so bored that she left. Bao Yu smiled and told her that they would have a drink together later that night. They then went back to meet the others at the Red Fragrance Farm. Page 130. Once all the food was finished, most of the guests began playing games. Xiao Luo Xiao Luo, Xiao Luo, Xiang Ling, Rui Guan, Dou Guan, Ou Guan, and Feng Guan had been picking many flowers and herbs in the court's garden, and so decided to settle on the ground and play a game with them. When Xiang Ling announced that she had uh, a husband and wife orchid. She had a husband and wife orchid. Dou Guan said that there was no such thing. And uh, the two of them began to play fight. However, when they tumbled over, they fell into a muddy puddle, and Xiang Ling soon found she was covered in dirt and grime. The other girls ran away laughing, leaving Xiang Ling to try and rub away the mud, which is what she was doing when Bao Yu walked past. He had an idea and went to speak to Xi Ren and went and spoke to Xi Ren, who had a very similar skirt. Xi Ren took out the clean dress and gave it to Xiang Ling so she could change clothes. That night, Bao Yu's maid Xi Ren, Qing Wen, She Yue, and Feng Guan, Chun Yan, 
Si er threw a little party just for Bao Yu, which they paid for which they paid for with money they had saved up. Dai Yu, Bao Chai, Li Wan, Bao Qin, and Xiang Ling were also invited to the private celebration, where the group of where the group of them drank and played games until the following morning. Party and party and party.